Hi there, I'm Claire Feldman, the eating psychology specialist, and I help women overcome their food, weight and body image issues. Um, and in this video today, I'm going to be teaching you a technique known as EFT or tapping. Um, and normally I would use this technique with clients to help them um, reduce and eliminate their food cravings. Um, but it's also a really effective technique for reducing stress. And stress is probably one of the primary emotions that will lead us to seek food for comfort and to numb us out. Um, and when our stress levels are high and our cortisol levels are high, um, we tend to crave these kind of sweet sugary foods because they release dopamine in the brain and they help us to feel calmer um, in stress situations. So using EFT to reduce stress um, not only is good for our health, but also to help reduce the cravings for sweet and sugary foods that we might have as a re result of our stress levels. Um, so if you have never heard of tapping before, you've never tried tapping before, um, the little demonstration that I'm going to do for you, you might think that it's a bit woo-woo um, and you might think it's a bit strange. So all I would ask is that you keep an open mind with it, um, try it for yourself and see how, you, see how you find it, see how you get along. So um, obviously in order for tapping to be effective and for you to feel the effects of it, that there needs to be a stressor going on. So the first thing I would say is notice, you know, what is it whenever you are feeling stressed? Um, what is it that you perhaps feel in your body? How do you know you're stressed? Is it that your, your chest is tight? Is it that you're short of breathing? Is it that your muscles are tense and stiff or sore? Or is it that you just recognize that your, your mind is frantic and there's a lot of thoughts kind of going on in your mind? So the first thing we do is we just identify what it is that you're feeling stressed about. Um, and um, how stressed you are feeling. And usually we would say, if you can kind of pinpoint a number, you know, if you were to guess a number between one and 10 of how stressed you're feeling, what would that number be? And just hold that in your mind and hold those feelings in your mind. And then to start, we have a setup statement. And with the setup statement, we take the side of our hand, we call this the karate chop point. We take two fingers and we start to tap on the karate chop. And for the purposes of this video and the demonstration, all I want you to do is just really follow along with what I say and what I do. So if you just repeat after me, even though I feel really stressed, I accept who I am and how I feel. Even though I'm feeling really stressed and overwhelmed, I accept who I am and how I feel. Even though I'm feeling completely stressed and overwhelmed right now, I accept who I am and how I feel. Now we're going to move to the acupressure points to start tapping. So again, just follow along. All this stress that I'm feeling. I'm feeling so overwhelmed. I have so much going on. I can't think clearly. I've got too much to do. I'm just below the collarbone. I feel so overwhelmed right now. And the next point is a weird one. So it's under the armpit, almost where your bra line would be. All this stress that I'm feeling. And the final point is the top of the head. All this stress that I'm feeling. So that is one round of tapping that we've done. And usually after one round, what I would get you to do is just take a nice deep breath in through your nose. And out through your mouth. And it may be after just one round of tapping that you may notice a reduction in stress. Or it may be that you need to do a few rounds more and all you're simply doing is just noticing what it is that you're feeling stressed about, uh, what it is that's overwhelming you, how it's feeling in your body, you're commenting on it, you're noticing on it whilst you're tapping. Once you've done a few rounds of tapping on the negative feelings that you have around your stress, we then finish with 
um, the positives that you want to feel and to experience. So we'll just do that now. So back to the eyebrow. I choose to release the stress. I choose to let go of the stress I'm holding in my body. I'm choosing to relax. I'm letting go of this stress that I'm feeling. I'm letting it all go. I'm choosing to relax. I'm choosing to be at peace. Top of the head. I feel calm in my body. Okay, and then just stop and once more, take a nice deep breath in through your nose, out through your mouth. And just check in with yourself now and see how you feel. Has your stress levels changed? Have the symptoms in your body at all changed from the figure that you had in your mind before you began tapping? If there still is residual stress there, then you might want to do a few rounds more, but hopefully you find some relief in using that tapping technique. Now, if you have any other questions and want to know more about the technique, don't hesitate to get in touch.